But here it looks like we're in focus. Hello? Hello, are we in focus? This is Paul again. If you haven't seen the big video, which is long and, uh, you know, where we answer questions about pedals and go from one into the other thing. So we thought what we do is one list of how you proceed when you don't know what power supply to buy. So this guy's gonna help us figuring out an effective way to determine which power supply you need. He gets emails about that all the time, right? That's correct. People are confused about power and volts and milliampages and uh, I was for a long time and still am. It was two o'clock, I think, last night when we finally went to bed and my head was like capacitors, toroidal transformers, buzzing, humming, milliamps and it, I understand a lot more now, still about only 20% of what he taught me. I will try to pass this on in future videos as much as I can, but we want to give you a rundown of what power supply you need. Not necessarily a Chuck's power supply, but would be cool. So we're gonna use them as an example. Here's what we do. You have a board. You look at your pedals or you know what pedals you wanna buy. My friend Ronnie did that. He said, I wanna buy these pedals and I already have these. What power supply do I need? If you're not sure, here are the steps you can follow. Step number one, figure out the pedals. Step number two, figure out the board. That has nothing to do with us. That's our friends at Pedal Train that can help you with their pedalboardplanner.com, which is pretty brilliant. We're gonna look at that. I prepared a board. <gasps> Not wired up. We don't need that for this video. So here's my... I'm, I'm right with you. Ugh. Here's my board. So this is what I would have if I had the Novo 24 from Pedal Train, which this is, of course, with creative pedal board velcroing blue and red. There's a video about this, watch it. Um, what I would have on there. My favorite drives, some that I'm testing right now and I really love the focus. Um, and uh, obviously timeline's gotta be on there. I also picked some pedals that go from the craziest little milliampage to kind of crazy high. But this is a realistic board, it's not insanely large, it's not super small. Let's call it crazy mid-sized. So let's say you have this board, what do you do? Well, uh, it's got, I think we counted 14 devices, units on it. Um, you should go and look uh, at the manuals, or at least uh, if uh, some pedals ha had have the, the specifications for, for the power supply stated on the back of the pedal, the bottom. But whether Which would you be really nice if they had that. That would save yeah. everyone a lot of if, trouble. If we pick a, a pedal or just look here, you see 9 volt DC on the Strymon and you see the polarity uh, which is uh, barrel positive, tip uh, negative, standard boss. It doesn't say anything about uh, the current draw, which is in milliamps. Uh, here you have a TC electronic device. The TCs say that on the back. We know that the Mesa say it on the back. Very few do. So if you're really lucky, your pedals, somewhere on the pedal say, I want so and so many milliamps, which is something you have to figure out in order to determine the power supply you need. Correct. Make a list of the pedals. Which we did for you right here. We're talking, but while I'm talking, you see the nice pedal board. And here's a list of our pedals. And then I went ahead and looked on the pedals or manuals and tried to figure out on the websites what milliamps they have. So let's look at that. We have the Joyo PXL switcher, which needs 220 milliamps, which is of course more than your standard average power supply output, but we get into this. And then uh, for the Polytune Mini, it actually didn't say it on the pedals. So you go on the TC website, go on Polytune Mini, go on support, go on manual, and in the manual at the very end, there's tech specs and there you find this. The Hypergravity, Vicious Vibe, Alter Ego and Hall of Fame all say it right on the pedal and they all say 100 milliamps. That's pretty straightforward. As you can see, the AT Drive, Little Blaster and Monotrem from Joyo have nothing because on their website it doesn't say that. Well, since I know the guys from Joyo, we're gonna rectify that and I'm gonna ask them to please put that on there and figure out what the draw is. So that'll make it easier for you because you guys are Joyo nutsos and you wanna know, you know, how much do the pedals draw. Uh, my good friend Brad Jeddah didn't write it on the website, but also not in the manual. So there was actually no way to find out what the gold standard 
uses. And of course, the MP Custom Effects Ganiac Milos Popovich with my ugly face on it um, doesn't have a current draw because it doesn't have a manual. It comes wrapped up in old Serbian newspaper. So this is totally, you know, this is handmade this. And you will have pedals like this. You will have your favorite pedals from your favorite friend or whoever, you know, did, uh, preferably from your favorite Milos Popovic. I just like to say Milos Popovic because that sounds freaking cool. Um, but, you know, it's, it could be Polish name, right? Could be. Milos Popovic. Um, anyway, um, so you don't know how much it draws. So in that case, if you don't have Paul right here with his clever devices, you might be shit out of luck and you might have to do some guessing and testing, which we're going to get into how his products actually show you if you're overloading a circuit or not. Remind me to hit on that that's because it's yeah. important because pretty much no other power supply, I think, does that, do they? Not as far as I Not know. Not as far as we know, and it's, let's be diplomatic about that. Hey, hey, hey guys, um, of course we completely forgot later to mention the amazing feature that we're gonna talk about here. So, here we have the Atom, isn't that cute? And it has the LEDs, which are not just nice little LEDs to show you that there's outputs. Um, they actually have a function. So, we have 109 volt DC right here. And we have the beautiful dig from Strymon, which is fucking amazing. So, but we just measured this and it wants 200. So, if I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing, which I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing, so we're gonna connect that. Just the fact that the pedal actually works doesn't mean you should have it on a certain output. And the Chalks power supplies help you with that. So, check this out. I plug this in here and yes, it powers up. I can work it, I can tap it, I can turn it on. And you would say, hey, it works. But look at this, what's the LED doing? It's almost not there anymore. The more you push it, the dimmer it gets. And the LED gives you very clear feedback over, this is overloaded, do not do it. This is working, theoretically, but it's not working to its full capacity, yeah. but there might be some noise introduced. We just measured it. It's not ideal to power it this way. So. You can try to move it to 250 channel, then you should see that nothing is happening with it. The LED is fully it's lit. It's powered up, the LED is fully lit. So if you're daisy chaining things and the LEDs are showing you stop it. They're dimming. And they're that, dimming. That means that you're probably overloading. Over take a pedal off or you have the, a, a pedal on an output that's not supposed to be there. You have feedback. So even if you don't know the milliamps, the power supply helps you in determining which outputs to use. Is that yeah. correctly put? Yeah, yeah you could Okay, uh, back to us now. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, by the way, Peter, Peter von Rutter, we gotta, we gotta tip our head to this freak, because on his, every, on every pedal website, he gives you the block diagram, the parts he used, the capacitors, resistors, he gives you detail about the pedals, that's crazy. And as you can see in our list here, the Merman uses 20 milliamps and the Focus 30. But he also gives you the fact that when you turn it on for four milliseconds, they go over that. So if you're trying to daisy chain and say, okay, I can stack all these pedals on one output, calculate the maximum that they need, even if it's just for a few milliseconds, just to be safe, right? You could say you, so, you but, could but actually it's okay if a pedal for, for a few milliseconds mm -hmm. draw a little bit more. If it's a linear power supply, it, it doesn't go into some kind of overload mode and shuts down. So, so it, the, the, the pedal will start. And uh, yeah, it depends on how the big difference is. Between which the is something I'm learning now that for me, these numbers were always written in stone. 9 volt is 9 volt and you don't do anything else. And 12 volt pedal mm -hmm. needs 12 volt and you don't do anything else. And, and AC is AC and DC is DC. And um, if it says the pedal draws 220, then I would never put it on a 200 milliamp output because, well, it needs 220. But Paul has taught me that these, it's, if it draws 205 and you have a 200 milliamp output, if you have always given that you have a good quality power supply, which I'm also learning now, uh, this is totally okay to pull a little bit more depending on what the other outputs are, are demanding and all this. Um, and we just figured out that the M13 from line 6, which is rated AC, 9 volt, 2000 milliamps. Or this is the regional power th supply. This is the, the, the original power mm -hmm. supply. Um, we've just put that on a 
12 volt DC. 12 volt to, DC uh, with 400 milliamps. So, so and, and it, it, it actually wants 490, but it was running on a 400 milliamp output, oh. given that you don't do anything else with that power supply. Mm -hmm. But these things, if you know someone like this, or have the guts to write him and bother him, don't do that. Oh, no, do, do it. Now, if you want to really know, can I use one of your power supplies for this product? And he's had experience with it. He might actually tell you, hey, take these two cables, plug it into the Big John. Show the Big John. I've got it here. And with the last two outputs of the Big John on 12 volt at 400 each, you can combine them to make one that easily powers your M13. And then you can still power if some analog drive, pedals. So, yeah. so um, these things are not written in stone. And 200 doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be 200. But to be safe, if you're not sure about it, think conservatively and stay below. Think yeah. conservatively and ask someone that knows, not me, someone like him. Ask the guys from Voodoo Lab, the guys from Car Martin, the guys that, that know their things. Which also brings us to something that I'm going to say, and he's not allowed to say it because he makes these things. There is a clear difference in power supply quality. Not like some people try to make you believe that they sound different, which is mumbo jumbo humbug. But some companies write, it can do 100, 100, 250, 250. If you actually realistically put 100, 100, 250, 250 on it, you'll find out that, no, it can't do it. You might hear it in a degradation of sound, ripple, bizzle, some... some this one can. This one can. So... The reason why you spend the extra money on a good power supply, on a high quality company, is because they actually deliver what it says on the thing. Some companies write ridiculously large numbers. They say, oh, this can do 400, 400, 800, whatever. And yes, technically you can put a lot of stuff on there, but if you fully max it out because you trust what it says on the power supply, you're going to find out that no, it cannot. So he has done a lot of research. He is weird enough to actually buy a lot of the competition. He says, I'm repeating and I trust the guy because I've seen him open shit mm -hmm. and he knows his crap, okay? Um, he says Voodoo Lab delivers on their promise of the power that it says on it, which is yeah. why they're in business so long, which is why they're the, one of the leading companies. So you can trust Voodoo Lab. You can trust my friends from Carl Martin. Um, they make simple power supplies. There's no big time frills about them. But when it says it can deliver seven times 100 and one times 300 or whatever. It can actually deliver this with clean mm -hmm. power, no sag, no whatever the terms are, ripples, I don't know things. So in his as well. So if they are appearing to be a little bit more expensive, it's because they feel good, but also every single output will when fully loaded, deliver that power. It's a question about the transformer, which yeah. uh, which should be powerful enough to give you what what you actually state on the box. And the board and we're looking mm, at here mm. is going to be demanding. Mm. We have a lot of TC pedals on here. It's a demanding board. So you want to make sure that if you're taking a power supply that you're kind of pushing to its edge, it absolutely can do this consistently without overheating. So now let's look at what his little gadget actually told us about these. We know that for some we had, we had to actually find out. So the only way for you to find out is either to have a friend that has a measuring gadget or... Actually what you do, what, what we did, we, we looked on the internet mm. uh, and made the list uh, and I've measured all the pedals with, with a multimeter or my, mm. my own meter which, which gives me the actual milliamp figure for each pedal at different settings. Uh, the analog pedals, it doesn't really matter if you, you turn the treble or the drive up or down, but the digital pedals with a lot of LEDs displays, you have to try <coughs> different modes to figure out what's, what would be the maximum. And when you do this, uh, you figure out that the, the, the actual figures are, are different from those stated in, in the manuals or on the pedal. And in most cases, they are lower. Uh, so if you can trust the, the, the figures on your, on your power supply, uh, you can actually 
save some money actually uh, by, by matching those actual current draw figures with the ability of your power supply. It looks like the companies are go usually going more conservatively and asking for because more power than the pedal Because maybe they know that, that <coughs> some power supply companies, they, they are actually stating higher numbers for outlets which, which cannot deliver. And so both sides are doing, trying to, to, to push the numbers up. Mm. But, but let's take, for <coughs> example, the first one in the, in the chain, the PXL Live. It is um, rated at 220, but realistically it's drawing 190. We could never get it past 189. Yeah, with all the relays turned on, with the LEDs turned the on. The more loops are turned mm. on, the more power it will draw. So we could never get it past the 190. So that means if you trust Joyo's 220, which is a conservative number, I, and probably you, would never put that on a 200 milliamp output because in our mind, it, it is not with, enough. Yeah. And it's a good assumption to say it needs 220, we can only give it 200, that output is not usable for that. So we would waste a 400 milliamp output. If the power supply had 200 and 400. Yes. I mean, they're, they're, they, they're, they come in 200, 250, 300, 400. These are the numbers yep. we're we using. So I'll be, uh, because if, if I only have the 220 figure, mm -hmm. I would say you need a 250 or 300 milliamps output. Yep. But now we're, when we've measured it and, and it stays below 200, it's, it's actually stay, staying below 190, I would say a 200 milliamp output would be sufficient to power this guy. Like on the DC-10, show that in the yeah, camera. Yeah, we have, we have, the DC-10 is one, one of the very Sh popular... Go closer popular, so they can see the numbers. Here we go. So on the DC-10, we have 400, 200, 100. Yeah, we so have two, two sections with 400 and two sections, uh, two outlets, isolated outlets with 200. So we, if we... If we knew that it was 220, I would say you should use one of the 400 milliamps. And section. I would have wasted that section on something that I could have actually plugged in the 200. Yeah, correct. So now we know we know that uh, we know the actual current draw. We can we can use a 200 uh, outlet safely, and we know that it's clean power. This this uh, of course play, is going playing to this closely <laughs> with the numbers, giving putting it in a 200 milliamp output when it wants 190 only works if the power supply is high quality and delivers <clears throat> clean power. Always given that, which I've said, there's three companies we know of that do that. Possibly others, but we can't speak for anything we haven't had here and tested. So you see the realistic numbers. On the focus, you might say, what the fuck did Peter Rudder fuck up? Because he says it needs 30 and mine is drawing 65. Well, I have the mind-blowing ground lighting at the bottom, which is of course a whole bunch of LEDs. It's pedal porn, it lights up, you want it, trust me, order yours with ground lighting. Um, but obviously that's not the one that he rated. Uh, yeah. This is a special one, it's mine. And um, so it draws 65. But because of him, I have a realistic number now for my pedal. So these are the realistic numbers in the back. You see Strymon Timeline, 300 which is why I bitched to Joyo about the Power Supply 4 saying, hey, you've got two outputs with 250, I can't put a single Strymon pedal on there. And I got really pissed off that they make a Power Supply that can't power a Strymon pedal. When in reality, we could never push the Strymon timeline past 215, which now very realistically can be powered by Joyo's Power Supply 4. Correct. Um, and I now have to go ahead and apologize to the boss um, for yelling at him for making a stupid product, which is now looking less and less stupid. And I look more and more stupid. Um, so they are the realistic numbers. Now, yeah. of course, we have 14 pedals, which means if we want actual individual outputs, you would have to go uh, big time and buy a, a, a power supply like ours, the big one, the chocolate, uh, which has, I think, 13 isolated sections divided in, in 16 outlets, but this would be an overkill for this board. Because you don't, you don't need it because you, don't you can daisy need, chain things. You, you can daisy chain things. And if you look at the figures on the right, uh, you have them all stated there. Mm. Uh, you should constantly, the, the first thing to do is, is get these figures or from me or from the manuals. From the manuals, you get the non-realistic figures. Mm. Uh, if you write me an email, you, you, you can get those uh, on, on the right side. Uh, and if you look there, you have two paddles that draw uh, more than 100. Uh, which is not much because there are there are other pedals that, that could draw much more like, <coughs> uh, like the even sides So you have the Joyo switcher, which is 190 and you have the Strymon timeline 215 uh, And I would say that for, for the Joyo you would need one isolated outlet at 200 milliamps 
mm -hmm. minimum. And for the Strumman timeline, you could, uh, you should should have a 250 minimum amp outlet. Um, yeah, and those are the two that you should keep isolated uh, on on two higher milliamp mm -hmm. outlets. The rest. If you look, the, the, the TC Electronics uh, pedals, you have one uh, Alter Ego 75 and Hall of Fame is 75. They are made on the same DSP platform and uh, this is why they draw almost exactly or exactly the same current. Uh, if you have a 100 milliamp outlet, uh, you should put one of those on its own on a 100 milliamp outlet because having a Say the the custom how do you keep MP custom effects Geniac by Milos Popovic. Yeah, by those Milos Popovic. <laughs> I, I would say gold standard is, 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 is easier. Let's look at the gold it, standard. Yeah, it's five milliamps. So so you could actually combine uh, on a split flex or a daisy chain mm. uh, on one outlet you can power the seventy five milliamps alter ego together with a with a gold standard. Which would have mean I, I would have gone that route. In now. The power in, in terms of power it would be perfectly okay. They would receive clean power. Whether this would sound good or these would disturb each other, we, we can get back to that. Well, you, have to fi you have to figure it out. It, it's, a yeah. it's a trial and error. But what, what, what I would do, I would probably uh, go for a, for an isolated outlet for, for, for the Alter Ego, for the Hall of Fame. And what do we have there? The, we, we have a few, the, the two, the three and four, which are also TC Electronic. Mm -hmm. They are probably also <coughs> digital. They, they, yeah. are, they draw a, around 65. You could try to daily chain them and, and, and listen if this gives any his problems, not hum problems mm -hmm. in, 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 this, in this case. So um, just by looking at the 14 pedals, we, we, we have the schizophrenic, which, which has six isolated outlets. Uh, but here we haven't got any outlet which is more than 200. So if we wanted to, to power the timeline very safely, we should make a parallel collection and combine two 200 milliamps outlets to, to power that, which leaves us with four outlets of which one we could, 200 milliamps we could use on the, on the switcher. And then we have three outlets for 12 pedals. That's not enough. No, no. You could you, come- you, You're gonna have to go up. I mean, you could combine these two together and that would be perfectly okay. Mm. Then you have two 400 milliamps outlets here, which would power the timeline and, and the switcher, which leaves you with six isolated and two more isolated But I'm sections. not gonna, I mean, when we look at the money, I'm not gonna save anything. I might just go for the one bigger, right? I, I, I would, well, for this, I would go for the DC-10 because it's got 10 outlets uh, in, in eight isolated sections. It's got the 400 milliamps, uh, out, well, these are combined outlets. So it's one isolated section with two outlets, 400 milliamps. So I'll go and power the timeline on, on, on this and power the, the Joyo probably of this 400 milliamps because I don't have anything else that draws mm -hmm. more. You could power the Joyo from the 200 milliamps, but since you haven't got anything in mm -hmm. 300 yeah. milliamp range, I would go and power these two high, high milliamp figures with, mm -hmm. with these two outlets, which leaves us with six isolated outlets for the remaining 12 pedals. And I could take all the digital pedals that need 65 into the four 100s and then possibly, that's what, what I would try that now. That would leave us with what? Uh, if the One, four two, three, TC... Four, uh, seven. But that they're, they're, that we are off with six. But they're, right? all, they're, they're all analog pedals and I would try to daisy chain them, uh, split, spread them over the two... Yeah, that would give it a problem because then mm -hmm. you have, if we use two daisy chains here, mm -hmm. three-way daisy chains, we would have six pedals here, four here, there's ten, mm -hmm. and two here. Uh, we're, mean, we're missing the Polytune Mini and something else. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we would need two more splitters uh, and, and then you sh I would probably try to combine maybe the, the, the tuner put together with uh, with like the, the, the mold right. the trim yeah the trim maybe, yeah. For, for instance and so, we already so, said the so in terms of cables mm -hmm. now if, if uh, this has enough power to power this boat mm -hmm. um, it's delivered with I think 16 different cables let's find out because um, one thing <clears throat> I'm sorry for interrupting you but um, I wouldn't use the DC 10 anyway because it's freaking called DC 10 and that 
it's just lame as shit because that sounds like a freaking product. I would use this because this is not called DC-10 because this, if I'm correct in opening this and unboxing it right here, is called Pussy Power, which is pretty much a DC-10 with one difference that I didn't understand when he explained it to me and I don't give a flying rat's ass because it's Pussy Power. And so it's pink. And it's pink and it has, excuse my French, a pussy on it. So, um, no, it's a heart. No, it's a pussy. It's a pussy. It's a heart. Whatever it's you a, want it it, to It's be. a pussy. So, you wouldn't get the DC-10 because you're freaking cool. You would get the pussy power. Excuse me. So, but now that we've opened it, we can actually see what is included in the DC-10 slash pussy power. Come the fuck on. This is, it has a dip switch on the back for the clit mode, whether it pulses or rests. This guy is all nice in his shirt and he's got the DC-10 and the AC boo 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 and then it, all, uh, everything about him, his demeanor, the website, everything says correct, we deal with power, we do things correctly and then he's got pussy power which in no way matches the rest of the appearance of the company or you. So I you don't, don't know me that I well. don't know what <laughs> alcohol was involved in this decision, but I think it's freaking awesome. And we talked yesterday and if any band needs this, it's freaking Steel Panther. We're gonna somehow try to get that in Satchel's hands because Satchel needs pussy power. He probably gets pussy power every night, but still. Um, knowing him, he's probably been married. <clears throat> and back to the cables. Back to the really? cables. <laughs> so in here, it's, well, these, uh, you have two sets. One of the, them is, is all black, and these are the, the boss standard cables you actually need uh, for, for all these panels. Uh, so all this special stuff you get here, which you usually have to pay extra for, uh, you don't need on this board, because actually you don't have any yeah. super special We should special hit on thing. that really quickly. I think, uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, it's taking the manual, so I don't want to... Uh, do, 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 do. There is one stack leg, so you get one splitter here, mm -hmm. uh, which you would use probably two of. Uh, and yeah, we, already, we, we need splitters, we know that we need splitters or daisy chain cables, and for the board we have here, we wouldn't have enough included. So that means you have order. to you have to order something special. This is a split flex, right? You use one outlet and, and you can power two panels. Um, Luckily, I have another one right here. Yeah, this so is, I could do it. This is daisy chain, right? Three-way yeah. daisy chain. Mm -hmm. So probably you would need two of these and two of these. One is included. Ah, this so is a, this is a split. This goes to yeah, two. Yeah. And this is a daisy chain that goes to three. Three, correct. And uh, obviously the other cables, you might have pedals that have a different plug. You might have pedals that need different polarity. You might have mm -hmm. AC <laughs> pedals. Um, so, which one? It was red the AC? No, uh, I mean the, the cable, I got the question yeah. sometimes, which cable is for AC? I mean, the cable is a cable, it can conduct mm -hmm. uh, current anyway, both ways. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so the plug type, um, size and type, doesn't really matter. Of course. But, but many AC pedals are with this uh, slightly bigger pin inside, which is which is not 2.1, which is boss mm -hmm. standard, it's 2.5. In this case, we have a green cable for that. But it, polarity it's, doesn't matter. No, no, it, it's just a, um, well, because it's alternating, but it's just a security measure so that you don't plug an AC pedal in a DC output. Could be, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, which mm -hmm. I accidentally might have done when I was playing around with the Yankee power supplies, and mm -hmm. they actually, they have the, the plugs don't match, so you can't accidentally plug in into the wrong mm -hmm, output, mm -hmm. uh, which which is a nice measure because we guitar players are kind of stupid. Um, sorry guys. And, um, and there's of course, if you have an old Big Muff, you have this cable, you can go directly to a battery thing. And you're wondering, why would you need that? Why would you need if, to be able to go If you have a pedal which, which doesn't have uh, an input socket for... And, and the question is, who would be stupid enough to nowadays make a pedal that doesn't have an input socket? MXRs, because this is the MXR Phase 90 1974, exactly like back then edition. Vintage thing, yeah. And uh, it's, it doesn't have an LED, so you don't know if it's on or not, and it actually really seriously doesn't have an input for power. So you could cut this down here if you wanted to. Or just 
Yeah, open yeah. it up, click it on, and they close it not totally firmly. Yeah. Uh, but you could still power this with a power supply if you had this adapter. But we have a simple board, all 9 volt DC standard boss plug. So, okay, but what we need is pretty much a pussy power, no DC 10, pussy power. Um, and you would have to order one or two extra split cables. Three separate cables. I think it's two daisy chains and one split. How do I get those? Do I go to Toman and order them yeah, at you the can website? Do that. Yeah, you can do this. Or but but remember to, to get the cables along with the power supply because if you if you order it, I think at Toman, mm. you get probably free shipping if you order something mm. that expensive. <laughs> And then you can you can order the cables and they come for free. If if you forget to order these, yep. uh, you cannot order them a week later and also, get them free shipping on also those. Also, knowing us, we'd be pissed off at this guy because we planned wrong. Because if we get the power supply, we want to put the, the board mm -hmm. together and then we're missing two split cables, we're not going to say, hey, I was stupid for not ordering. We're going to say, this bastard didn't put them in the box. Because that's how we work. All right. <laughs> but Henning, I think we should. Uh, we didn't have the the list prepared, but mm -hmm. I think we should make another list where we sort of suggest which outlet should be connected to which pedal, or which pedal should be connected to well, which it, outlet. But that would be very specific to the power supply we're talking about. I mean, we're giving a. a, a you could also, of course, go buy the chocolate. You could also. I gotta say this. I'm sorry. You could go and get some. Voodoo Lavish or what other company? Of it's course. it's it's a general. Uh, this is a general approach. Yes. I mean, by the time you figure out the how many pedals you have, what current they need, and what voltage they need, this is easy in terms of voltage because it's all nine volts. Uh, where where this your choice of the power supply for this board uh, is not necessarily the 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 power supply that can only power you. You can choose different kinds of power supplies f to, to power this board. If you had, say, a, a tone bone radi from radial mm. in, in, in Canada, which needs 15 volts, you're limited actually to, to either one of our units or those which are ad adjustable. Mm. So this is actually a very easy setup to, to, to choose a power supply. You, you just even though it's, it's got 14 pedals, he calls yes. it easy. But it is true because we don't and have... And then you only have two pedals which are just around 200 milliamps, so it's not... We don't have AC, we power. don't have 15. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll bring this to a close. The one thing I want to say is, if you had this board and you said, okay, I can do it all with the DC-10, but then I'm kind of maxing it out, I'm already splitting some things, you might think about you being a crazy motherfucker like me because you're going to buy more pedals. You're going to buy the next board. Yeah, I think if you have this and you know this is it, I, I have played with this for, uh, for the last five years and I'm not going to change it, then I would DC go for the DC10. But when you know that you are swapping paddles and you might add something in a short time, because you you're a crazy motherfucker, be, you'll be short of outlets in, in, in a unit like this. And then, and then you might just go for the, the overkill and buy the biggest one that you can possibly find because you know you're going to have the options That later. could be an option, but you could actually uh, go for these two where you know you can expand it with a third unit. By uh, just daisy, chain, daisy chaining yeah, them with power. The link yeah. or daisy it's chain. Link. It's, the, the, it's, the, it's his link series, which is way cool. So, okay, uh, we wanted this short, it never happens. But I think, yeah. I think we were concise enough to actually give you a guide on how you plan your board. Planning is mm -hmm. everything. And if you can plan it yourself and find out millivoltage amplages and blah, 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 um, this guy's there for you. You go to his website, there's a contact. Yeah, I, I, can, I can tell you that some people write to me they just sent me a list of pedals, uh, even without getting the names correct. This is <laughs> a very tough job for me because then I have to go and look at the manuals. I have a big database of, of many pedals which I both have looked in the manual and measured. And then I can find them. But if you already can, can do a little bit of work, make the list, make it clear, make the, the, the names, which brand is it, what type of pedal. And if it has anything stated on it, please put it on in the email. It makes my job easier and there is a bigger chance that you get an answer quite fast. Then I can tell you, you, you should buy this power supply, these two extra cables, connect these pedals to these outlets and you're ready to go. And then you, you'll be happy man or woman uh, when, when getting one of our products and it actually works the way you expect it to do. Yeah, because otherwise there's stuff being shipped back and stuff and he doesn't want that. He wants you to be happy. So we're going to film more crap about power supplies. Um, 
and uh, look at me, I'm bored because it's all stupid power supplies, but you need them and he makes good ones. So I hope this helped. We're gonna go and make buzzy sounds now on the floor with coils. Creepy stuff. See you later. And um, um, get your own pussy power because it's freaking cool. Say goodbye. Goodbye, guys. That's how that works. And girls.